All right, hopefully you guys can hear me loud and clear. Uh, got some storms rolling in here pretty quick and I'm trying to get this done as quick as I can. This is my third attempt to get this video done. Uh, it's been a, it's been frustrating week trying to get this video done. Uh, the first take uh, it was perfect. We actually did some shooting with the platform, showing you guys exactly what it did on steel from 50 yards out to 300 yards. Went back to delete a frame that I didn't like. Went home to do the edit, and that frame that I deleted, I also deleted everything ahead of it, which was the shooting, and it ruined the entire video. Anyways, take two came in. It was out of focus. Everything was out of focus. I was out of focus. The rifle was out of focus. So now we're on take three. And I hope to God when I go home to edit this, everything is okay, all right? All right, so unfortunately, no shooting. Uh, the only shooting you're gonna see is with me uh, hunting with the platform. Enough of me talking. Let's talk about my recent build, the 223 bolt action rifle. Okay, uh, before we even start talking about the specs here, I just want you guys to know that I have never owned a bolt action 223 before and I have never fired one before. And um, my first experience was a very pleasant one. All right, it's just the best way I can explain it. Uh, I was on it, I shot it, and I kind of stood back and just kind of giggled at myself. And I was like, I can't believe it took so long for me to make this happen. If anybody out there owns a 223 bolt action rifle, you know exactly what I'm talking about, especially when you're shooting one suppressed. It's an experience like no other okay let's talk about the specs here and it's starting to drizzle so i need to hurry up and get this going uh guys um <laughs> some goodies here all right and i can tell you right now there is i'm not in any way sitting here telling you this is exactly how you need to build a rifle okay this is what i wanted and i specifically chose everything on here for this rig okay uh, first off, we're going to talk about the chassis. This is an MDT XRS chassis. I've talked about it before. Uh, this one here doesn't have the night hood. That is an optional uh, deal that you can do here on the, on the chassis. Uh, the night hood allows you to run like a PBS 30 or any type of clip on device here in front of your day optics. It also allows you to mount um, PEC 15 or a D ball or something like that. Um, but I didn't need that because I'm running a designated uh, thermal site here on, on the rig. So uh, we went without that. We have an area 419. I believe this is a four and a quarter um, Arca Swiss plate from area 419. All right. Uh, wide bad cheat pad here. Um, the magazine is from MDT. This this magazine is specifically for 223. And uh, guys, it, it operates and functions flawlessly with this uh, magazine. I don't know what other... Oh man, well we are, I know you guys hear that. Oh, screw it. Yeah, I think I need to go ahead and put the camera up and uh, we'll come back out here and try to finish this later, Jesus. All right, let's get this video rolling. I got a short window here. I can see the sky acting really stupid here. So let's get this done. We're done with the uh, XRS chassis. Trigger take trigger. This is a special. Um, I think on their website, they consider it a smooth because it doesn't have the uh, bolt release here on the bottom. Uh, this doesn't have a bolt release. The impact action has a side bolt release. So I, all I gotta do is pre uh, press this tab over here and I can pull the bolt straight out so I don't need it on my trigger all right this is an impact precision 737 with a 223 bolt face uh, these guys are out of Oklahoma I don't have to hype up anything anybody in the shooting game knows about impact precision these guys do a really great job the tolerances are really tight on their actions which is a really good thing it's a two lug um, one thing that I don't know one thing that caught my attention was their, um, the way the trigger goes in, it's kind of like a cage. Uh, so your trigger drops into this cage and then that cage goes to the action. So for example, if you're in a competition and you have a failure with your trigger, you could have a backup or you could borrow another buddy that has an impact precision. You can literally pop the trigger out out of that cage and just drop it straight into your, into your action. I thought that was really cool. And, and, and it might be a carrier. I don't know exactly what they call it. I call it the cage. Uh, but it's a really cool feature. Great looking uh, uh, action. 
There's nothing to hate about them. They do a really good job. I know there's other actions out there, uh, and I'm gonna try them eventually, but I'm just slowly getting myself into this, okay? Uh, there's different options with the bolt handle. Uh, you got a short, lightweight one. You got a, a, a one, a, another one that's a little bit heavier. Uh, and then you have this barbell style, and I felt a little bit more comfortable with the barbell style, so that's on here right now. Again, side bolt release here. Uh, it did not take long for this action to break in. Uh, it, I didn't think it was tight uh, right off the bat, uh, but the more the more I shoot it, the better it gets. Is the only way I can explain it. And I think it's I think it's officially broken in. So uh, really nice action. Got the spiral fluting here on the bolt. Again, out of Oklahoma, and uh, I'm just really happy that there's a, a really great uh, company out there doing action so close to me, man. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that, but this won't be my last one. Uh, to the barrel, we have a Christensen Arms 20 inch one and seven twist barrel. Uh, guys, this is not a takeoff from a rifle. Uh, I got this from Christensen Arms. Um, you can get a blank or you can get a pre-fit. Guys, uh, I was kind of blown away uh, with the results that I was getting with this platform, and I'm going to talk a little, uh, a little bit about their history with carbon wrap barrels. But uh, before I get there, there was a comment that I read that kind of stuck with me, and it still sticks with me because I haven't experienced anything bad in the field. And a guy said, such a great action with a subpar barrel. And I just scratched my head on that, and I was really trying to figure out what he was talking about as far as subpar. Um, I let, the, I let the shooting speak for itself. Uh, I never had to question my shots or my shot placement. Exactly where I have my reticle is exactly where this bullet is going. And there and it and it's helping me deliver energy down range. That was the goal to have a somewhat medium length barrel that's gonna give me the maximum uh, efficiency out of the out of the cartridge. And I'm shooting grind hard ammunition during 62 grain controlled chaos. Now back to the barrel. Uh, guys, Christensen Arms was the first company to carbon wrap their barrels. They were the first to do it, and I had no idea that that was the, that was the case, but uh, they were. They were the first ones to do it, and uh, I think personally they did a great job. I got another one that's in a 20-inch for 308. The pattern is a little bit different than this one. I'm not sure why there's a difference in the pattern, uh, and I think the 20-inch uh, 308 barrel actually looks better than this one. Uh, but guys, I haven't I haven't experienced anything bad. I know for a fact that this is a sub MOA gun. Unfortunately, like I said earlier in the video, uh, I did some shooting and uh, I accidentally deleted that frame. So something in the future will come out of this rig. I will share some shooting with it, uh, or maybe in a YouTube short so you guys can see it. I just didn't have the time to get that done. All right, so let's talk about the suppressor. Um, this is something that I was uh, really wanting to get done really fast and uh, or get my hands on and it was the Otter Creek Labs Polonium. This can was originally supposed to go on my 6mm Creedmoor and guys I will tell you this, just keeping it 100 with you, I did not think this suppressor sounded good on the 6mm Creedmoor. It sounded phenomenal on my 18-inch 223, that green one that I talked about and it sounds even better on my 223 bolt action rifle. Everybody knows when you shoot suppress on a bolt gun, it is money, it is money. Uh, I like it, it's short, it's compact, and like I said, it suppresses really well. Really well. Uh, this is the Otter Creek Labs Polonium. This is not the K version, it's the 556, the Polonium, uh, the regular one, all right? So let's get to the optic here. We have Infrared Outdoor, IRA USA, TH50C, so 640, uh, three and a half to 14. Uh, I absolutely love this scope. I use it a lot if I'm not using the uh, uh, RS75. Uh, this is like my second go-to. Uh, originally in the video, you're gonna see I was running the RS75 for a short period of time, uh, but when it comes to comfort, eye relief, and a good balance, I just thought the TH50C looked a lot better on this rig. So the TH50C, you're gonna see footage with the RS75 and then quickly I'm gonna go over to the TH50C. No audio on this. I'm using an external mic, so some of the clips, you're gonna see video, uh, audio, you're gonna hear audio, and then some other clips, uh, you're not gonna hear it, okay? Uh, the ammunition, grind hard. Guys, um, it's obvious that's what I shoot a lot. 
Uh, I have a great relationship with those guys down there in Florida, man. Uh, they make great ammunition. It's very effective on these animals. This is something that uh, is questioned a lot, and it's 223. Is, is 223 enough? Every time I'm shooting 223, that question comes up. And uh, I, I just got to be 100%. I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. There's two things. Don't, don't ever question the cartridge. You need to... <laughs> I'm trying to find a good way of saying this. Um, if you got the right shooter with the right ammunition, you're going to take care of business. That's just the best way I can say it. Um, if you got a sloppy shooter with sloppy or with uh, subpar ammunition, you're going to get subpar results, okay? Uh, Grind hard is legit, all right? And it's a 62 grain. I think it's coming out about 3,100 feet per second. Not sure what it is on this one. I need to get a chrono. I know I need to get a chrono and get you guys some numbers. Um, but everything that I have hit with that 2.3, that 2.2.3 that two, two, has been graphic. Yeah, it's been, um, it, we'll just leave it at that. It's been graphic. Uh, I share a little bit of that on IG. I will not share that here on YouTube. They're a little sensitive over here, so we gotta be careful with the graphic content. Uh, but it definitely takes care of business. So don't ever question uh, the cartridge. You just need to spend some time behind that platform and make sure you're using the right ammunition for the job. Uh, we got FMJs, you got 5.56, you got VMAX, you got all these different styles of ammunition, but when it comes to hunting, you're gonna want an ammunition that's gonna deliver the punch and be very effective on the animals and also very accurate. Enough of me talking, uh, we'll get to the footage. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I had a lot of fun with this platform and I can tell you guys right now, it's not going anywhere anytime soon. I do plan on using it more in the future. Uh, I like to bounce around on, on different platforms, but I can tell you guys right now that this right here is probably one of my top five rifles that I ever built. Uh, I'm extremely happy with it. And again, I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon.
I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. It was pretty cool to see that again. I know some folks have already seen some of that over on IG. Some of you guys seen some of that over here on the YouTube shorts. Uh, but I just had to share it with you guys. Um, so much fun. Uh, that's all I got to say. Uh, it's, it's pretty crazy to hear the audio on some of this stuff. I, I shoot a lot of other cartridges, and for some reason, the 223, when it hits, it just gives off a different sound, and it sounds like you're hitting something with a baseball bat. Uh, guys, you don't have to build a rifle exactly like this. You can go out and purchase one. Uh, you can cut corners. You can save money with the actions. You can save money with the optics, suppressor, chassis, whatever. You can cut corners. Uh, but, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, it's great to own ARs in 223, but it's also great to have one in a bolt action platform i'm telling you guys right now you will not regret it uh the tripod real quick everybody's always asking about tripods uh this is the two vets recon v2 i also had the qdt v2 which i just recently damaged so i'm waiting on some parts to fix it it's a long story but pretty much snapped them in half uh, it was just a freak accident uh but anyways i am always on uh, the two vets tripods. That's what's helping me stay steady and helping me take those nice accurate shots uh, up close and at distance and Anything at distance out here is usually right around 300 yards That's a pretty good poke at nighttime with thermals. I know during the daytime. It's a different story But at nighttime, I try to stay within 300 yards of these animals again. I hope you guys enjoy this I'm sorry for the debacle with all the videos and taking so long to get this done. It's always something but Guys, I'm going to do my best to try to keep these videos rolling. I appreciate your patience, and I will see y'all in the next video.